Welcome everyone, Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream video for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on, we talk about what's going on, we look at the cosmos, the cards, and we align our energy together. So there is a lot going on out in the cosmos. That full moon brought a lot in. We really know that. We felt it. Shifts occurred. Now we start to release that out. And now we're going to start to ask the questions like, what's going on? Where am I? Who am I? What is the world about? So we start to look at all of this as we move out into the week. Now, the big thing that everybody's talking about in the astrology circles is one, the shifting of the nodes. All right, we've been talking about that. That's our, our purpose and our comfort zone. And then also we're talking about the planets that are going retrograde, Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus. All right, these are the things that are going to make us start to reevaluate our life, our purpose, our love, our money, our relationships, and our responsibilities. All of these are happening right now as we move out into the week and through this next month, several months. The, mo the nodes generally last for about 18 months and always at the beginning or the end of a cycle, that's when we feel it. That's when we feel that shift of energy. So what is your purpose? What is your comfort zone? Where are you hanging out? We want to ask those questions. Really, really important. Embrace yourself because these changes are coming forward. And it is really an important time for them to come forward. And as I see it, the thing that we need to do is dive deep down into your spirit, into your spiritual practice. Ask those questions. Ask what you need to do. Ask yourself, what is my why? So I go back out into the world. What am I doing? Who do I trust? What do I believe? And where are you going to find those answers? Deep within yourself. It really is really deep within yourself. That's how we find it. Now we're going to start to feel like some of the Saturn energy is like the discipline in your life. Where can you like really make that to-do list? Where can you change that for yourself? All right. Maybe you've been hanging out, not really too disciplined at home or whatever. Now's the time to really create that spiritual practice. That's going to help you know yourself, know your intuition, create that foundation that you're going to need as we move through these changes. Now the Jupiter retrograde amplifies all of that energy. So if you haven't made changes, if you haven't been disciplined, you may feel a little depressed. You may feel a little down in your energy. You may notice that your mind, your mindset is not as strong as it needs to be. Really important. And we're going to start to look at all of this energy going on. Venus retrograde is all about our finances, our relationships, how we're dealing with all this out into the world. Relationships are many. Maybe it's like some past love coming forward. Maybe it's a relationship that isn't working. Maybe you've been in the house too long with somebody that's not working, or maybe it's your work relationships as well. All of this is being churned up, a time for you to renew it, relook re at it so you know how to go forward. All right. So these are the energies that are shifting. And then we have the nodes. The nodes is, like I said, our purpose and where we're hanging out in our comfort zone. All right. And if you are in your comfort zone, you may feel some of that heaviness. So it's a time to really open up magnify that energy out there for you and notice where you can make those shifts. I like to talk about it as coming into your heart. What is your purpose? What is your why? And opening that energy up out into the world. That's what we really need to look at as we move through this week, really several weeks into the rest of May as well. And really that theme for May, deep dive, discipline, right into your spiritual practice and build that trust with your intuition. All right, we're going to really feel that energy coming forward. We're going to start to see a lot of that Gemini energy. Gemini is that air, that mindset, that duality. All right, we're going to start to look at other ways, both sides of the coins. And as I see it, as we enter back into the world, I think we need to, little by little, if we stay home and we stay in the fear, we're not going to be innovative. We're going to stay stuck in what we were doing. But as we enter out, it's like open up to new ideas, open up to new technology, Open up to new ways of doing things. There is a lot of things coming forward. I was at the dentist this week. He was talking about all the things he's looking at for his practice to keep things safe and healthy instead of just using chemicals. There's some new steam technology. All right, UVC, another thing. I work in color, right? So UVC is the wavelength that helps get rid of bacteria and viruses in the air. Check it out. Look for new innovative ways that you can go out into the world as well. So filter out, be careful, know your energy. And we do that by knowing our spiritual practice. Know what your vibe is. Know what your auric field around you is filled with. Build your immune system. Take that responsibility, that some of that Saturn energy for your own health. 
All right. Be able to discern all this information that we're reading about and seeing on the news. Take care of the news. Don't stay on it too long as well. All right. So let's just take a moment and bring all of this in. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Taking a moment with me if you can. Hey, Michelle, take a nice deep inhale. Close the eyes for a moment. Lighting a little sage. Exhaling out. And just begin to call in your spiritual body. Feel that alignment coming in. Pulling the energy in, centering and grounding. Taking a nice deep inhale up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down deep into the earth. As we take this time to honor where we are, aligning with the energy of the east, where the sun rises each and every day. We honor that newness of life. We honor all the mothers all around us, Mother Earth, all that we have and all that we know, all that come in to help birth us, to nurture us and to love us, sending that prayer of well wishes and gratitude out into the world, calling in the directions from the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, call into your spirit, Set an intention right into that third eye center and allow yourself to see all that you need. All for these intentions to come in. Opening that third eye center. Noticing how you feel as these intentions come in for you. How do you want to feel? And let that energy, those emotions lift and radiate out and elevate your energy field. Joy, peace, gratitude, whatever it is for you. Sending some energy out. Just let that energy radiate out. Sending some Reiki, Han sensation in, Han sensation in, Han sensation in, out into the world, out into you, out into the auric field. Feel that strength radiating into your auric field all around you, the front, the side, the back, the side, all around. Elevate these emotions out into the world for you. Sending those intentions out to attract all that you need as we move back out into the world, out into this new paradigm, this new path. Inhaling and exhaling. Sending those intentions out. Let that energy radiate all around you. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Sealing in the energy, shokure, 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 sending it out. And just bringing that awareness back, coming back, pulling your energy in, just noticing that shift for you. Good. So as we open up to the cards for guidance, the first card that comes up is the High Priestess. I feel like we keep drawing this card, but I love it. Because she reminds us that it's okay to sit between the dark and the light. It's okay to not know everything, but know your energy. Be that high priestess. Be a master of your energy. All right, this goes right along with what we're saying. Deep dive into your spirit. Really important. All right, know that energy. Own that energy. Have that connection with your own spirit and source, God, creator, however you want to look at it. Own that energy for you. Really important for all of us. If you drew card number one, this is a daughter of wands. Now she's reversed. And I do know we've had this card several times as well. This is a visionary energy. All right. Trust, trust your visions, practice the skills of intuition, learn them for you. This is going to be your guide. This is going to what helps you own this energy as well. Really important that we do that. Really, really important that you open up to that energy for you. All right, that infinite potential, that's that passion, desire. Know it, trust it, build it. The second card is perfect for Mother's Day. It is the Mother of Cups. Nurture yourself, love yourself, be the mother of your own self. That's that taking responsibility. That's that Saturn energy. Take responsibility and love yourself. Love your mothers as well, all right? Really important. Again, happy Mother's Day to all and to Mother Earth. Then the next card is the Two of Love, Two of Cups. It was reversed too. So this is again, that Venus energy. Check into your relationships, right in alignment. All these cards are right into line with everything we just talked about. This generally has to do with the heart. 
So check into the energy of your relationships of your heart. Is it time to let something go? Is it time to commit? What is it for you? All right, really important. Best and most was the major arcana of the high priestess. Be a master to your energy, to the spirit world. Really important right now. This is how we're going to discern all of the energy as we move out into the world this next week. All right, be really strong. Know your energy, really important. Now, I also drew a shaman card, the jaguar. So this is really interesting too, because this is all about having the courage, even when you don't know what's out there in the dark, having the courage to move forward. Really important that we have that courage to move forward step by step, little by little. All right. It's time that we open up to a whole new paradigm, knowing your spirit and that connection you have will definitely help you as we do that. All right. Take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how that resonates for you. Leave me a comment either now, or if you're watching it later, either way. All right. Had a great show with Joanna Mann from the Walden Pharmacy on the Empowered Spirit Show this week. It was really great. Talking about her mission, how she followed what they wanted to do in their life, changed their world and just how everything is flowing. She's amazing. All of her amazing herbal tonics. Her and Trevor doing such a great job. We talked about leaving a positive footprint versus a negative footprint. We talked about how important it was to take a pause right now and work with Mother Earth. Check it out on the Empowered Spirit Show. All right. I will be in the group tomorrow morning, Empowered Spirit Circle, doing some mindset work. Really important. Tapping it out. Join me about nine o'clock Monday morning tomorrow. Come join me. I'll work with you, whatever's going on, so you can be motivated as we move out into the world. All right. Let me know what else is going on. If you would like a card, come in and post and I'll be glad to draw a card. Otherwise, I got a Zoom call with my kids coming up. Let me know if you're around, if you'd like a card. Otherwise, take this energy, be strong with who you are, really know your energy, really be strong. If you're around someone that doesn't need to be around you, either you leave or stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid as you move out into the world. Little by little, we need to filter out. All right. All right. Not seeing any comments here. I was on Instagram earlier doing a follow-up now. So thank you so much for joining me. Be strong in your work. Be strong in your energy. All right, Chad, I saw you jump right on there. All right. Michelle says all the reading. She's been blessed. Yes. Confirming. Great. All right, Chad, let's draw a card for you. All right, Chad, I got the seven of swords. So this is an interesting card. Swords is in the mental swords of our mind, but there is a little secrecy going on. And sometimes it's either a secret you're keeping or a secret someone's keeping from you. So I always like to say, check in with the mental plane. All right. What are you thinking and what are you knowing? Are you overlooking something? Is something being like kind of held back? All right. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's just some energy that needs to come forward that you've been hiding. All right. Or someone's been hiding from you. Which is it? Post below and let me know. All right. Very interesting. And again, it's of the mental, mental chatter. Seven is our spirituality. So sometimes it's about getting out of the spirit and all those things we tell ourselves and open up deeper into that spiritual realm. Mindset, mindset, mindset. I always like to talk about mindset when we draw the swords. All right, Michelle, you're good. All the readings are indicating. Sean, I picked a second card. I didn't realize it, but it was stuck to the first card. I just saw it. It's the Ace of Wands. So as you let go of this, look what comes forward. Passion, desires, all that new energy. All right, so something is getting in your way from getting there. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was wondering, like, I didn't quite get it, and this was stuck right behind it. All right, so something is getting in your way. As it uncovers, new idea comes forward. All right, to me, that makes more sense. All right, let me know how you think. All right, guys, just take an awesome. All right, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale away. Be strong in your energy. This is the time to dive down deeper, to know your own force. Take it out into the world. Be safe, be strong, be love. Thanks again for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.